Time in YouTube and welcome back to Deck Profiles. Today we are going to be looking over a little bit of a different deck that, you know, we don't usually showcase here, and that is Torchic. Torchic is our current attacker of choice in this particular deck, and it is pretty insane when you consider the card itself isn't very good. But Torchic here is a 50 HP fire type Pokemon. Uh, with Flare Bonus and Claw as its attacks. Now, Flare Bonus we will never be using, but for one Fire Entry, you get to discard a Fire Entry from your hand, and if you do, you get to draw two cards. So if you're really hurting um, in the hand department, you can use your Flare Bonus, get rid of the Fire Energy, and you can get yourself some cards, which is fine. But our main focus is Claw. For one Fire Entry, we will be able to do a massive, a whopping 20 damage okay there's gotta be a catch right and the downside to claw is you flip a coin and if it's tails it's not gonna do anything now what's cool about this Torchic is because it was part of the ancient trait family uh, it does have an ancient trait and this one does carry a barrage where as long as like not as long as you can attack twice with Torchic every single turn so that claw, as long as it hits both heads, can actually do 40 damage in a turn, which actually isn't bad at all for one energy draw. Now, let's see how we can amp that up a bit. We're going to partner it up with Volcanion EX. The 180 HP Fire Water type Pokemon has that steam up ability. With the cost of one Fire Energy from your hand, you can make your Torchic now do an additional 30 damage per coin flip. So again, we're going to scale that up a bit. Torchic naturally will do 20, with that steam up it's going to do 50, which if you land both heads will do 100 damage. Sounds a lot better. Not quite there, but it's a lot better. Now if we're going up against EXs and GXs, we have Choice Band. Choice Band will add an additional 30 damage. So you've already got the 50 natural now from the Claw and from Choice Band, which is 50, plus that... Um, Steam up from Volcanion, you're hitting, what, 80? So 160 damage now? That's a lot better. And you can use multiple Steam Ups in a turn if you have multiple Volcanions. So, with that being said, it is very easy to hit some high damage pretty quickly. Uh, to deal with that coin flip, we are going to be using Victini, 70 HP Fire type Pokemon with the Victory Start ability. Once during your turn, after you flip any coins, uh, you can ignore them and retry those flips. And what's really great about this ability in conjunction with Torchic is each claw is like a different instance. So claw, you go for the first one, and if it lands heads, you can use that heads. And then on the second one, you can still use it again, which is really nice. And if it fails, however, you can't use it more than once in the turn. So if your first claw does fail and you land the heads on the second one, and then you go for the second one and it also lands tails, it's unfortunately a tails. So keep that in mind. Um, next up, to kind of make the synergy a little bit better, we are going to be using Tapu Lele. Turn 1, Bridgets are always a common thing now in Standard. Bridget just can get all sorts of Pokemon, and the only thing it can't get in this deck is the Volcanion EX. So, in order to respond to that, we are using Brooklyn Hill. This way we can get a ton of Pokemon, turn 1. Uh, this stadium here will let you get a basic fighting or water type from your deck and put it onto your bench immediately. And of course, Volcanion is both fire and water, so it does help out. Um, and lastly, our final Pokemon is Starmie. We are going to be using a ton of energy through the use of Volcanion Steam Up, so having that Space Beacon is very crucial. It does help us get those energies back, and it's only at the cost of one card in your hand. Not bad at all. Uh, starting off our trainers, we do have those field blowers because one of our biggest threats is the Garbotoxin Garbodor. Uh, once it shuts down our abilities, Torchic literally is just a Torchic up in the active position. So you do need to make sure you've got a field blower on hand in case you are playing Garb. Uh, next up is level ball. Now I have got a pretty high cost of level balls and you guys can fluctuate anything here. Um, level ball here actually will hit every single card in the deck barring the EX and GX because they all have lower than 90 HP or equal to 90 HP so that is actually a really good ball for this deck um, and you don't have to discard which is awesome 
Uh, next up is the Rescue Stretcher. Um, I'm running one of these and a Super Rod because again of the energy problem, but because I'd like to have the opportunity to grab a Pokemon from my discard pile and put it right back into my hand. Say I lose a Torchic and there isn't another one in sight, I can grab it with the Rescue Stretcher and have it in battle ready to go pretty quickly. Um, and then this Super Rod is, in case I don't need to worry about too much, I can grab those Volcanions or the Tapu Lele or whatever has fallen, uh, throw it back into the deck with some energy even. Uh, we are running three Ultra Ball. I did cut it down a little bit because you don't need them as much, but it is your only way to really get Tapu Lele. And if you're going for a turn one Tapu Lele with that Bridget, kind of essential to have that Ultra Ball. Um, of course, while they're in standard, we are going to be using the VS Seeker, so we have four of them but they will be rotating very, very shortly. Um, I don't really need to go over Bridget, but Bridget here will let you search for up to three basic Pokemon as long as they are not an EX. If you are going for that Volcanion, you can only choose it. Uh, next up is one copy of Fisherman. Uh, put four basic energies from your discard pile back into your hand, which means you can go for an explosive finale if you've got like three Volcanions and a fresh Torchic. You can play it all, and there you go. Uh, next up we are using Lysander because, well, I'm not able to use Gezmo right now and Lysander is technically better in this in this kind of format. Uh, we've got N as well, pretty standard stuff, and we've got four Sycamore, so pretty, again, normal, normal, normal cards. Uh, you've already seen that we are running four Choice Band to go with those four Torchic, and we are running two Flowstones to get those bigger, heavier Pokemon out of the active position. Huge tip, if you are going to be using these Staryu, please use the one from Breakpoint because it does not have a retreat cost, and this will make using Staryu way easier, because you can have it, you don't have a problem having it as the active Pokemon at the start of the game, because you can easily retreat it. Um, with that though, we are going to be having 11 Fire Energies, and that is the deck. Honorable mention though goes to the Promo Lorantis. If you guys want to try and cheapen up this deck a bit more, uh, maybe take out the Tapu Lele and adjust the trainers and stuff, you can run the Promo Tapu, or er, not the Promo Tapu Lele, the Promo Lorantis, which will increase your Fire type Pokemon's damage by 20. Uh, this will give Torchic an additional 40 damage total in the attack phase. Um, However, I do find that the 2 and 2 line is a little junky. I like to keep my Pokemon between 14 and 16, and having almost 20 Pokemon in this deck was really close. Like, I had to adjust the Tapu Lele and the, the Volcania lines, and I find this works a little bit better. Um, so we'll see how it goes from there. Um, but with that, let's check out some Torchic matches and see just how funny this deck actually is on TCG Online. Alright guys, match number one is against OPAF Gaming, and good luck to you boss. And uh, we are going to be going Tails here. And we lose the coin toss, which is great, because if I do go second, it is actually beneficial for me, because I do want to be able to attack on turn one. Now I have actually got my worst potential lead in Victini. But I do have an end, so I am actually pretty good there. Um, as long as we find some ways to move around and kind of get ourselves into this, we'll be okay. My opponent does start Tapu Lele, which is not great for him either. But uh, it's better than a Victini. Uh, we are going to see Hex Maniac go through. This is actually terrible. I'm just going to end up. I've got an awful hand. I probably just gave my opponent like the best possible hand ever. So we're gonna throw down Torchic. Uh, we're gonna give him some stuff. Throw down a nice level ball and get myself out of Star Use so I can at least start getting it evolving on the following turn. But there's not a whole lot else. Gonna have to pass. Okay. I am kind of interested to see what my opponent is playing, but they literally had like a sitting hand. Now what is nice is I can switch this guy out for Torchic, I can still get damage down, but without a supporter or anything in the back, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. So I'm kind of hoping my opponent does go for an N here, 
I'm hoping to draw that Tapu Lele right now, potentially getting us a nice startup. Uh, but that's about all I can say. Now, he is using Rare Candy, so my assumption is he's either using Metagross or Solgaleo. Uh, he's definitely using Metagross. Uh, so because of that of Alolan Vulpix, it just it kind of set it up for me. So, he could be going for an end here or something. He's going to retreat, and is he just going to attack? He is just going to attack. Oh, boy. I need to top deck something good right now. So he's going to get himself to Beldum. Now we are ahead in the sense of, yes, yes, you ask, you shall receive the best supporter I could have asked for. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're back in this game. We're back in this game. We're back in this game. I got another Torchic. I think I can take out this Alolan Vulpix like now. Like now. <laughs> uh, let's retreat into Torchic. I'm going to use the Steam Up ability. And let's go for this Claw. Uh, I will naturally do... I need to land both. Because my Choice Band does not accommodate for the Alolan Vulpix. We land the first one. No, we don't need to reflip that one. Beauty. So that is 50 damage. And Torchic here will go for Claw again. And we land the second! We don't need to flip it. That Alolan Vulpix is just going to go down... Uh, no more worrying about that. My opponent is very, very far behind. Uh, he does have the Tapu Lele, who can definitely have a double color synergy drop, but Metagross doesn't usually run that. Uh, so we are in a very good position. Uh, Sycamore is here. He is going to go for a Hex Maniac, which is absolutely fantastic for my opponent. Uh, it will slow us down quite a bit. So... Unfortunate there, but it is what it is. So we are going to drop our Starmie here, uh, which will get us our energies. And I can get some chip damage still down. It's not like I'm not in that effect. I'm actually going to hold on to this, second, uh, this third Torchic, um, just in case. And uh, we are going to go for some mighty damage here with the Claw. We land the first one, which is awesome. So that is 50 natural damage. And we are going to land, not the land the second one. So we got 50 damage down, but it is in range of being knocked out on the following turn. And my opponent has not had any energy. Well, he had one. But he decided to get rid of it. So an energy drop onto the Beldum is here. We're going to see a Via Seeker, and he's just going to go for that Hex Maniac again. Uh, he is in really bad terms, but he is benefiting from the fact that my entire team needs this ability. But... He is using up all his Via Seekers in order to do so, and I'm a-okay with that. I got a second Via Seeker, don't really need it, so I am just going to try and go for this 100 damage. I can't knock him out, but I can at least get it to a good point. I'm going to go Tails, and can we land the second Claw? No. So hopefully those coin flips are not part of our regular routine here, because that was pretty bad. Uh, we are going to see a second energy drop onto that Beldum, and that thing is almost ready to go. Oh, I need a Via Seeker to eliminate it. But he cannot get rid of our stuff now. Which is a very good thing. Um, we are currently sitting at 2 here. The card I want is something that I can't license or er, cannot uh, Sycamore for. So I'm just gonna steam up, and with my abilities, I should be able to take out this Tapu Lele. Now my opponent is having a pretty bad hand, uh, but we end for him and everything, so he should not be having that many problems. At 80 damage. We just need to land this one, and we'll knock out Tapu Lele. We landed it. We're not going to be needing that coin toss. We're just going to take out Tapu Lele and claim two prizes. Uh, Fire Energy and a Volcanion EX, which is exactly what we wanted. But we are actually going to claim number one. Game number one actually was very quick, very solid though, because we did get our chance to kind of set up early. Um, you saw where we were able to completely control. The only thing we did not have in that matchup was our Lysander, which we were an advantage there. But again, they were depending on that Alolan Vulpix to survive maybe another turn or two. And because of Torchix's double attack, we were able to knock it out immediately. 
And of course, our opponent was hex maniacing us quite a bit, which made it a little harder and it made it actually a lot longer for us to play. I don't know what was going on with my opponent's deck. I know a low, er, uh, not a lowland, but I know Metagross can run a lot faster than that, so I don't know if it was just a bad hand and he never drew into anything, but it's a Metagross deck that we took down. So let's see what we can do in match number two, and hopefully it'll be a bit more of a, a more non-one-sided match. Alright, match number two is against Archon, playing a fire deck. So it's fire on fire, but which fire will burn brighter? Uh, and the question is, is what fire type is he using? Uh, that is a big one. Now we've got some pretty good Pokemon to start off with. Um, in terms of, I just need a Victini now, and I'll actually have a great opening hand. So I can level ball for the Victini, drop the Fire Energy, drop the Choice Band. We'll be seeing it's a Volcanion deck. So my opponent is going to try and use Volcanion himself against us, um, but he's not got the Water type. Oh, it's Delphox Break and Stuffle. And how? Have I dropped this low on the ladder, or is just it's just what's going on here. Okay. So. Drop choice ban. Uh, drop the fire energy that we need. I want to get a star you. No, I want to get Victini. Because in case. That is way more important right now that I can guarantee my hits. Uh, we are going to end. I get a second Volcanion. I can't. Knock this thing out, I don't think. I can drop Staryu. I can drop Volcanion down. I do three, six, seven, eight. I can if I land both. We can potentially get this Volcanion turn one. Which is actually pretty insane. Uh, so let's go. Claw. Nope, I have to waste this on the turn one. Got it, okay, so we, we do 80 damage. Come on, Claw, knock him out. Knock him out, knock him out. Yes! Knocking out a Volcanion turn one, that's what I'm talking about. We got a second, or a third Volcanion. Um, I can't do that kind of damage on this next turn, though. I did waste a lot of resources to get going. Uh, my opponent plays the Stuffle. I uh, cannot attack or anything this turn. Uh, does play the Beware that will get him more cards, which is great. Uh, we do see another Stuffle and a different variant of the Stuffle, and a Timer Ball. Okay, so he does get one Heads. Uh, he will be able to evolve one Pokemon here, which will probably be this Fennekin. But I'll be aiming to knock it out next. He does get that Breaks in. Um, but I'll be at most doing 40 damage, unless I get an Energy. So, we do see an energy drop onto that Fennekin, or that Breaks in now. Uh, we do get a Choice Band, which is not helpful at all. So I want to bring this thing up. And we are just going to go for the Claw. Which I have to try and draw again. These coin flips suck. Alright, we got 20 damage down. It's in range of being knocked out. I just need a better hand. Something. Uh, we have gotten energy down. He's going to XP share over to the bear, uh, beware. Which is cool. Uh, it does drop a... Oh. That's a problem. I'm going to sacrifice my Starmie temporarily. Or not. Kind of just got the best kind of thing I could get. Um, and again, I don't have energy or anything to keep on trucking here, so this is going to probably be the best play for me. So we can drop one energy down, and I do have the luxury of potentially knocking it out here. 
But it is torture. It is the bird versus the fox. Yes! Okay, we don't need to worry about that coin toss. We are going to hit for 50. We just need to hit one more, Torchic. You got this. You got this. Yes! Okay, so this breaks in is going down. We are forcing my opponent to lose all their possible energy drops. We get ourselves a nice Ultra Ball. Um, which really is not a great card. But I can go for a Tapu Lele. Sacrifice the cards I've got. Go for a Tapu Lele and get myself into a hand. That seems like a better option, huh? Huh? Uh, my opponent actually decided to go into the Stuffle instead of the... He's, he's just going to hit me with a Tackle. Okay. I just got Tackled. You don't see that every day, guys. You do not see that every day. Uh, Tapu Lele. You can get me a Sycamore. So, I got lucky off of a bad hand. I was able to get the right cards, really. Um, but I'll admit this was this was a pretty tight matchup. I should not have. Well, I got rid of the Volcanion threat, which would have really sped up my opponent. But my opponent really is not playing a whole lot of damage. Uh, so we want to go for a steam up here. I can just steam up all of these energies. And again, I don't, I don't necessarily am trying to down my opponent. I'm just showcasing what Torchic's power levels can do. And with the right setup, you can get a ton of damage down. Um, yes, I would like to coin flip again. We got him. We're going to knock him out, and we're going to get the opportunity to attack this Beware as well. So we are going to grab a prize. It is going to be Brooklyn Hill. Not necessary here. Uh, but let's go for that Claw. But we do miss it. So unfortunately, we do not get the damage down onto the Beware. But we are in a very good spot. Uh, he does get the chance to knock me out, though. Dangerous Blow will knock me out. That is fine. That is fine. We'll just bring in a Volcanion. I have Flow Stones here. He has not showcased any real big thing. Um, I'm just going to Float Stone here. I'm going to Float Stone down here. And I have Sycamore so I can get Energy Drops. I'm looking okay. So let's get a Sycamore. I've only lost two Torchics, so the potential to have two more is in here. If I level ball, if I get a level ball, I don't get a level ball, but I get an Ultra Ball. So we're just going to get rid of our Brooklyn Hill and our end because i got two VS Seekers. So I can get myself a Torchic. I'm just going to drop Torchic down. I'll drop this Fire Energy down onto it. I'm going to retreat into Torchic. I'll Space Beacon away my Fire Energy to get two Fire Energies. Waha! Double the power. Uh, we are going to steam up. Three, six, seven, eight. So if we land both, we can knock out the Beware and win this matchup. We're going to claw. Fail. Oh. Yes, we need to flip it again. Oh. Come on, Torchic. Yes. Damage. 80. That's something. Um, I'm probably gonna need some way of getting my Torchics back. Mm -hmm. My opponent surprisingly has been able to keep me toe for toe. Um, I've just had some bad luck with the cards. Or, sorry, with these coin flips. And that is the one gamble of Torchic, is you do need to use that coin flip. But my opponent does play another Stuffle. My opponent's got more Stuffles than anything else. I'll probably have to Sycamore here in order to try and get that last Torchic. Whether it be in hand or whatever. If I can get that um, Rescue Stretcher, that'll also be able to get me it back. Uh, this is the third Torchic, though, that is going to go down. I'm not worried about energy. Okay, my opponent literally just tied this up. Literally just tied it up. Not really the card I'm looking for. I need a Sycamore. Because how many VS Seekers have I got there? 
This will be three. Because I have to stick more. I need a good Torchic to come up. A good bird. I got him. Alright. Energy drop onto the Torchic. Uh, we'll retreat into the Torchic. Uh, we are going to go for our Space Beacon, which we will just discard the Fire Energy and get two. Uh, we're going to steam up. We can knock out both of them in one turn. If I can get lucky. If I can get lucky. Alright. Claw, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! We need coin tosses. No! Oh, the struggle is real, guys. Yes! He's going down. Finally. We're going to take a Tapu Lele. Not what we want. Not what we want. All right. He can evolve and play double colorless energy and knock us out again. That is a potential here. We're getting taken down by a Beware deck. I'm actually pretty scared. My opponent did play a town map though. Uh, we can see that he's got one. He's got three Pokemon still left in prizes. None of them being Beware though. So he's gonna play a Via Seeker into that Shauna. Hoping to get a lot more potential cards here. Is my only assumption. I'm noticing though he's not playing any ends or sycamores, so he must be playing like a regular standard sort of basic non EX deck or nothing. Like he hasn't got any competitive cards yet, or I don't know. I don't know what to say. But these coin flips are killing me! Uh, my opponent is playing a Rescue Stretcher to evolve into Beware. Oh, he's going for the Volcanion! Does play that Volcanion down. And he's going to tackle me. Now, I do want to focus on this Volcanion. Because um, it is the bigger threat. And can't do as much damage to me over time. Uh, the Stuffle does still need to attack unless he has written Escape Rope or anything like that. And if he does, I will retreat into my Floatstone Volcano. So he does tackle me. Okay. I can handle that. In fact, it might be better for me to take out this uh, Stuffle. Uh, because I don't want that Beware. And he needs still three energy drops to do anything on that floor. Two more energy drops, I mean, to do anything. So we are just going to go with the Space Beacon here. And I can get rid of the Staryu, because I can't see him getting rid of my Starmie anytime soon. And if we manage to land this, we'll actually be able to put some damage on both as well. I've been saying that every time, and I must be jinxing myself, because I've said it, and we have not been able to get it. Alright, so Claw. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Seriously, I've landed more tails than anything. Yes, okay, Beware is going down. Or er, Stuffle is going down. We have one more threat. One more threat being the Volcanion. Now, I have thrown my Lysander in here, both of them in fact. So if he does play something with a little less HP, I will be taking it first. I don't want to take the gamble of hoping to land both, because apparently I can't do that. But our opponent is in a very bad spot. Um, he can only hit me for 20. He can only hit me for 20. So my Torchic will actually have survived two hits. Two hits! Ah, uh, there is the Fire Energy drop, and he can go for a Power Heater. And that is it. Drop down this here. Um... Space Beacon, my Tapu Lele, because I will not need that. Uh, and we do have the opportunity to win this matchup right here. I'm hoping. Okay, so, Steam Up. Now, I know either a Super Rod or a uh, Rescue Stretcher is in the deck if things go wrong, because I only have one prize left. I have two of them. Like, one of them has to be within that nine cards. In fact, would it be a good idea to play that now? I don't know. I'm going to go for the claw. Hope to win this matchup. 
We still lose it. Come on. I'm gonna lose my Torchic here. I'm gonna lose my Torchic. Nestball is gonna get. Why can't you have Nestball last turn? Could have knocked out that Fennekin. Okay. The Steam Artillery is gonna knock out Torchic. Okay. I got problems here. I just need a Torchic. And neither one of my Super Rod or my Rescue Stretcher is currently in the discard pile. I have eight cards. No. I'm going to guarantee to take this. I have both of them in this deck, I just can't draw them. Uh, I'm done. I will not be accepting a card from that, and I'm going to go for Sycamore. Oh. I'm going to Rescue Stretcher. I'm going to put a card from my discard back into my hand. That's going to be Torchic, and I'm going to Super Rod the other three. I'm gonna play Torchic. <laughs> Sorry, boss, but this game is unfortunately a little easier for me. Um, we will Space Beacon, go for this fire energy. He was hoping so bad for that win, but we have 10 fire energies in the discard pile. That's insane. That is literally left to this. Alright, I have no VS Seekers, I have no supporters left. Um, I have only what is currently pretty much in my hand in Torchix. So we we can do this. Let us get this last attack. Yes! Oh my The suffering. The suffering. And I'm it was another level ball, which is fine. I, I'm happy that, that was a level ball and not one of our main porn cards. But we finally managed to pick up that win there. Um, the thing about Torchic, there's a lot of gambling, so don't take this one as a competitive deck. It is a really fun deck to try out. Um, there might, there's definitely some times where you are just going to be at the bottom end of anything. Um, but you can catch your opponents off guard a little bit too, which is really, really fun. Especially if they're playing a Fire Week deck, you will be able to do a massive amount of damage if you hit that coin toss. Um, as you can see, a little harder than... Even, even with Victini, it can be difficult. Um, but with that being said, definitely give it a shot. Let me know some of the stuff that you've decided to put in here. Was Lorantis worth putting in here for you? Did you put in Tapu Lele? Because sometimes Tapu Lele is a bench thing that's not helping your setup. Is Garbodor your biggest problem, and is Hex Maniac giving you the hardest problem in your life? This deck is a lot of fun, but it does have a lot of flaws to it. Um, but with that being said, Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It was definitely a lot more different than what I'm used to doing. Um, but hopefully we'll have a few more coming your way. I have another deck profile coming for you for Friday, so keep an eye out for that one as well. If you guys are brand new here, please hit the subscribe button because it does mean the world to me that you guys come out here and watch the videos on the regular. But I'm going to get myself out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. But until then, time out.